this is a black and white photo and then i use gemini ai to edit the photo and make it more colorful and this is the result as you can see it's the same person the same facial expression same everything except it is colorized and now there is this ai watermark at the bottom right corner of the screen that's one problem when editing or creating a picture using gemini ai so then how do you fix this problem well let me tell you the three methods or three approaches that you can try to remove this annoying ai watermark when you're creating a picture or editing a picture using gemini ai so the first method that you can try is quite simple although not the best but some people are actually using it you can just crop the picture or crop the area that contains the watermark you can use tools like canva or you can use you know pick pick or paint from your windows pc it is also can be used to crop a picture and i think this cropping capability is pretty much available in every single platform you can use your phone to crop the picture it is not the best but again it is something that you can do quite easily so that was the first method the second method is much much better so you can use platforms like Canva or Photoshop and then you can remove that part using using the brush tool or some sort of cloning tool. So in this case, I'm going to be showing you how you can use it on Canva. You can upload the picture to Canva and then open the picture and you, you can use a tool called Magic Eraser in Canva. And basically, you just need to select the brush size and then select the area that you want AI to remove and click Erase. And you'll see that the result is going to be very clean and because particularly because the area is quite small so that's actually much better than cropping a picture and you can maintain the same aspect ratio or the same size of the picture now the third method is uh basically we are going to be using a different ai tool you can navigate to this website called playground.bfl.ai and then you can sign up using your email or your google account and this is completely free you'll get 200 credits to try all the tools in this AI platform and after that i'm going to just upload the picture that i want to edit let's select this picture with the ai watermark and i will use this simple prompt to tell the ai that i want to remove the ai text watermark overlay and for the model you can select plus one context the pro or the max version uh, the max version is going to be much more detailed and sometimes much more consistent but the pro version is more than enough for just removing this ai watermark and after that you can select the settings like for example the aspect ratio will be four by three i believe and the batch size let's say just two images per generation safety tolerance usually you don't have to change anything unless if you have a picture that seems to be uh could be blocked by ai for safety reasons but usually using the default setting is not going to be a problem for the prompt upsampling it is optional it, it is just whether you want to make the prompt to be improved or not in this case i don't need to improve the prompt so i'll not use the feature and for the other format let's select jpeg and then you can send the message to ai and a few seconds later you will see the result of the same picture but there will be no watermark whatsoever and you can use it for pretty much any picture with any watermark and you'll be surprised that the result is very consistent as you can see it is the same person same character same everything but there is no ai watermark on the bottom right corner of the screen and you can download the picture by right clicking on the picture and then click the download button so that's basically it that's all the three techniques that you can try to remove the watermark from gemini ai and if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day